Hello everyone and welcome back. We're going to be uh, working with some more fourth grade math today. On Tuesday there was a video for you about the area model with multiplication uh, as a strategy for solving larger multiplication, uh, larger digits, two digits times two digits, or looking at three digits times one digit. So you can go back and review that video for the area model strategy. Uh, today I want to show you three uh, game materials that you can use uh, with things from your house to help support this and continue to practice that area model of multiplication. Um, so the first one, you may want to grab some dice out of a game board. Any, any dice are fine, even if you only have one. You only need one, uh, but a lot of games that you already have in your house, board games, have dice in them. So you want to get, get some of these. A plain sheet of paper any plain sheet of paper. I'm going to show you how to make a really neat spinner uh, that generates numbers at random for you. A paper clip, a pencil, and a deck of playing cards. Uh, there is a website, K5 Teaching Math Resources, that is also added in the description on this video. Um, and it has lots of games that you can pull off that are directly tied to your math standards. Um, and so one of the games that I'm going to show you today comes from that website. Okay, so let's start with cubes, number cubes. If you've got a brother or sister, a parent, somebody in your house that'll play with you, you can do that. If not, if you're just there by yourself or an only child, it'll still work. So you grab your number cube and you roll randomly. And the number I rolled was a four. And so you can write that number down on your paper. Next number rolled is a two. And that gives me the two digit number 42. Next number rolled. If you have multiple cubes, you can roll more than one at a time. The next number rolled is a one. And then the next number I roll is a six. And so I have a, um, I've used number cubes to generate two digits times two digit multiplication. And again, we're working on area model as the strategy. It's a pictorial way um, to do your multiplication. And again, you can go back and review that video from Tuesday, uh, but you basically build 42 and 16. And then you're multiplying the factors that are atop, uh, uh, up top and to the left to get your um, answers here. So this would be 40 times 10, this would be 2 times 10. This rectangle would be 40 times 6. And this rectangle would be 2 times 6. And once you find your products, you're adding them up. all of the products from the rectangles and, and then that gives you your final prod, product of 42 times 16. So you can use your number cubes to roll and generate numbers randomly. So that's one activity to continue working on your area model with multiplication. I'm going to show you how to make a spinner just using a regular piece of paper, a paper clip, and a pencil. So you're just going to take your paper and you're going to just draw a circle on your paper. Divide it in half. And in half again. and in half again and in half again
and then I'd like you to put the numbers 2 through 9 in each pie piece. And now you've got a spinner. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can show you this. Can you see the spinner? If you take your paper clip and lay it in the center of the circle and put your pencil right there on the dot of the circle. So I'm right, let's see if you can see this. I'm right here on this dot. I'm gonna put my paper clip right on this dot and then put my pencil on top of that. And then you just flick the paper clip and whatever number it lands on, I've landed on a two. That would be the first number I would generate. So there's how you make a spinner. And then my first number would be a two. And you would continue to spin and create your two digit times your two digit number um, so that you can continue to practice your area model for multiplying two digit times two digit numbers. And again, if you're working with a partner, you could keep points to see who can create the highest product or the lowest product or who can solve correctly. Uh, and each person that would solve correctly could get a point. Um, and so those are some games that you can add to this skill set. The next game I want to show you comes from the K-5 Teaching Math Resources website. And it has handouts you can print off or view online. And this one suggests that you use a deck of playing cards. And you want to take out all of the face cards. So you're going to go ahead ahead of time and you're going to remove all of your face cards from the deck of cards so that you only have numbers. And then you lay all your cards face down. You're going to lay them all face down. And the game suggests that you turn over randomly four face cards. You just, I mean, four number cards. So you just randomly grab four number cards. So I have an eight. Another eight. A three. and a nine. Now this game that's come, coming from K5 Teaching Math Resources wants you to try to um, build the biggest factors that you can to end up with the biggest product. They, uh, it suggests that you arrange your cards and make the largest product possible. So when you turn your four number cards over and you're looking at your set of numbers, you want to arrange those so you can build the biggest numbers possible. So looking at 8, 8, 3, and 9, which one is my largest uh, number up here? It's 9, right? So this first number is going to be 9. What's my next largest digit? 8. 8 is larger than 3. So my first set of factors will be 98. Okay, that leaves me with an 8 and a 3 left. So out of these two digits, which one is the largest digit? 8. And then I'm left with a 3. By rearranging the numbers that you've pulled from your playing cards and ordering them so that the largest digits are always first, going from largest to smallest, that's your winning trick. That's going to show that you're going to have the largest product in the end. So you want to build the largest factors in order to have the largest product. And I hope that you'll check out that website, K5 Teaching Math Resources. It's a great 
um, website. There are several free options there for you, um, and it, it includes all of your fourth grade standards. So enjoy that and check that out. And uh, once you build your um, two sets of factors, then again, you'll practice your area model to multiply these larger numbers. Good luck, have fun, see you tomorrow.